Hey, it's Julie G. I'm back. A little bit of yoga, a little bit of abs, a little extra prop today. Grab a kitchen towel, any towel that's about this size to start. If you don't have blocks, you can do the entire flow without them. Don't sweat it. And we'll remind you when we get to that part, just uh, take it out. Have fun. Listen to what your body needs today. Just a quick, quick little something to get us moving. Okay. So fold your mat in half to start. If you're on a carpet, this is going to be harder to do. So um, the hardwood is definitely the way to go or a tile. The um, towel is going to go like this. Hands are going to go flat onto that extra padded mat. Shoulders will stack directly over your wrist. Index fingers are forward. Same setup for a plank position. Now I'm going to take my curl toes onto this towel, hug the knees in, pause here. The knees can stay down if you want to do this with the knees on the ground, that's totally fine. Press into the mat, draw the waist up, keep the gist of the gaze, the drifty a little forward. Start to slide the legs out, keep the toes on the kitchen towel, draw the belly in. Hug the legs in, hug it in tight, slide the legs out. Keep looking forward. Move like this, hug the legs in. Slide the legs out. If you don't have hardwood floor to do this on, you can just do regular plank push-ups. Okay, hug the legs in, keep moving. Slide the legs out. Hug the legs in, firm up the arms. Slide the legs out, three more. Hug the legs in, slide the legs out. Two more, hug the legs in. Slide the legs out, one more, hug the legs in, slide the legs out, drop your knees. Move the kitchen towel, unroll the mat. Find your way onto your backs. Soles of the feet are going to come flat to the ground. Anchor the feet into the mat. Draw the arms up and forward, pause. The lift of the shoulders is what we're looking for, the feet anchoring down. Keep the lift of the belly. Lift your right leg up on an angle so it's in line with your left thigh. Lower the right foot down. Lift a little higher. Lift your left leg up on an angle. Lower the left leg down. Lift a little higher. Lift both legs up on an angle. Bend the legs in half. Lift the legs a little higher. Exhale the breath, let that go. Pull yourself up. Lift your left leg up on an angle. Lower it down. Keep the lift, draw up a little more. Lift the right leg on an angle. Lower it down. Lift up a little higher. Lift both legs up on an angle. Bend the legs in half. Take the feet, lift a little higher. Exhale the breath, let it go. Pull yourself up, pause. Look to the ceiling so you're not taking this in your neck. Right leg lifts on an angle. Right leg lowers, lift a little higher. Left leg lifts on an angle, lift a little higher. Left leg lowers. Both legs lift on an angle, lift a little higher. Bend the legs in half, lift up one more inch. Exhale the breath, let it go. One more, pull yourself up. Left leg lifts on an angle, lower it down. Lift a little higher. Right leg lifts on an angle, lower it down. Lift a little higher. Both legs lift on an angle, pause. Tap the heels. Good. Lift them back up. Rebend the legs. Lift a little higher. Exhale the breath, let it go. Pull yourself up on an angle. Lift the legs. Tap the heels. Lift them back up. Bend the knees in half. Lift a little higher. Exhale the breath, let it go. One more. Pull yourself up. Lift the legs up on an angle. Lower the heels, let them tap or an appropriate distance. Lift them back up. Bend the knees in half, lift a little higher, exhale the breath, let it go. If you don't have a block today, don't use the block. I will show the first set with the block. The right leg is gonna bend in half. The forearm's gonna go onto either the block or directly, you can just press your palm into your, your thigh bone. I like this, if you don't have this, palm goes into the thigh bone. Press the, the forearm here, firm that up. Lift the left leg up. Left hand and left toes make a match. Lower the left arm, the left leg like you're swimming. Reach it up, move like this. Arm and leg hover, lift it up. Arm and leg hover, keep pressing the right form into the block, lift it up. Arm and leg reach and hover, lift it up. Arm and leg hover, 
lift it up. More breath, lower back presses down, arm and leg hover, lift it up. Go again, arm and leg hover, lift it up. Arm and leg hover, lift it back up, drop the leg, take the forearm, other forearm, left forearm or left hand on your right leg. Keep that leg bent. Keep the lift of your left leg. This time you're gonna go cross body. Right hand, left foot, lower it down. Now you're going across. Right arm, left toes, lower it down. Right arm, left toes, lower it down. A few more, pull up, lower it down. Lengthen, pull yourself up, lower it down. Two more, pull yourself up, lower it down. One more giant breath in, lower it down. Switch the leg. Bend your left leg in half now. If you don't have that block, that's okay. Just take your whole palm and press the palm into the thigh. If you have the block, rest the forearm on that block. Reach your right leg up. Keep your left leg bent in half. Right hand, right toes. Straight line of energy. Reach the right arm back. Lower the right foot so it hovers. Pull yourself up. Keep the neck long. Lower it down. Again, pull yourself up. Lower it down. Move like this. Up and tap, lower and hover. Keep pressing lower back down. Up and tap, lower, hover. Pull yourself up. More breath. Lots of feeling going on here. This will definitely wake you up. Keep moving, four more. One, pull yourself up for three. Pull yourself up, tap for two. Pull yourself up, one. Do one more bonus one. Here we go, pull it up. Keep, the, keep the, the leg bent. Now just switch the arm. Right forearm rests on your left thigh, or hand can just press directly into the thigh bone just to keep that leg straight, the arm straight. Press. Now you're gonna do the crossover. Left arm reaches back, right leg stays lifted. Tap the fingertips to the toes, lower the leg down and hover. Pull yourself up, lower it down. Keep moving. Up, tap, lower. Long, engaged abdominal wall. Pull yourself up. Lower it down, pull yourself up. Keep working, good stuff right here. Pull yourself up, five more. Good, pull up, four. Lower, long, three. More breath, four, two. Pull yourself up, one more. Bend your legs, give them a squeeze. Rock yourself up, cross your ankles. Plant your palms, step to a downward facing dog. Press your hands down, bend behind your knees as much as you need. Lift the hips up. Move the shoulders away from the center line of the body, firm up the sides of your arms. Let your head, your neck just go. Feel the core, it's fired up right now from all that little fun stuff holding you up a little bit more. Roll forward to plank, stack your body. Look forward a little. Bend your elbows in half, chaturanga. Pull yourself through a great up dog. Take a downward facing dog. Modify your push-ups with your knees down if you need it. The modification will look like this. One more time, guys. Roll forward, plank. Knees will drop, elbows will bend, chaturanga, support it. Upward facing dog, as much or as little as you need here. Soften the shoulders down the back, press your hands. Downward facing dog, hips press back. Step your right foot forward. Tense your left hand, peel your right arm open, easy twist. A block underneath your hand here is really great. Stack the shoulders, look up. Scissor the thighs in. Feel the back left leg engage. Isolate your right hip, your right glute. Feel your right heel press down a little bit more. Anchor your left leg a little bit more. Fire up that hip as well. Look down. Move the block to the side here. Pivot your left foot on an angle. Don't come up. Rest your right arm on the top of your right thigh like this. Left arm's just gonna reach straight up. So from the ground, keep wrapping your right glute underneath you. Left arm can wrap forward. If for some reason you're looking for a little bit more, the hand can just slide down to the outside of the foot onto a block, but I'm just gonna stay right here in a modified extended side angle right now, just working on the lightness of my body, the anchor of my left foot, 
and I'm wrapping my left arm forward so the bicep turns nicely. A little bit more breath as I, I kind of grip my right hip underneath me and twist my ribs, my belly towards the sky. If the arm went forward, just reach it up. You're gonna look down. Hands just gonna slide to the front of the shin. For some of you with a tight lower back or a little bit of a stiffness there, step your back foot in a little bit. Make sure the foot's on an angle. Block can go to the outside of your calf as well. Hand can rest right here on the top of the shin. A few breaths. Feel your feet, feel your inner and outer thighs. Feel the explosive energy of your belly, your waist pulling up, so nothing's dumping down. It's safe, it's effective. Look down, left hand comes to your hip. Use your block if you have one. If you don't, don't worry about it. I'm gonna float right to a half moon right here, gripping my right hip in. Right hand content, left arm will slide up. Gaze, dristy, will move with me as I go. Eventually looking towards the ceiling. Feeling my right foot really firm into the ground. Contract my right glute. Spark up the left toes. A lot of lift of the side body. If you added anything in here, like a chopasana, just find your way out to a regular half moon. Look to the floor. Left hand comes down, step your feet together at the top of the mat. Come to the fingertips, long spine, or hands to the front of the shins. Fold over your legs. Sit into a chair pose, weights in your heels. Wrap the biceps in enough that your baby fingers turn with you. Glue your heels into the mat, stick your tush back. Drop your seat, your shins will move back with you. Press all the way up to stand, drag your hands to prayer. Reach your arms up, just reach them straight up. Sit again into a chair pose, like an elevator ride. Forward fold over the legs. Come to the fingertips, long spine. Plant your palms, right foot steps back, left foot steps back. Lower halfway chaturanga. Pull yourself through an up dog. Make this feel good, make it work for you. Press through your palms and the tops of the feet. Downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward. Use a block if it worked out well for you. Right hand down onto that block. Left thigh wraps in. Left arm extends up. Then you look up. If you know you're tight in your shoulders or your upper body, a block is just a great way to support the posture. It's not the easy way out. Activate your right leg a little bit more. Twist the ribs, twist the belly, and look up. Take another big breath. Look down, place both hands to the floor, just move your block to the outside if you know that you need it. Keep the left foot where it is, turn your right foot onto the side, angle it, rest the left arm, soften the shoulder, grip your left hip and loop in, slide your right arm up. Modified extended side angle, if there's another version of this that you took, be consistent from right side to left side. Top arm can reach forward. Bicep will turn, baby finger will go with it. Your gaze looks off, the side, up towards the ceiling. Twist the ribs, rip the left hip underneath you. Someone was trying to break in, but they changed their mind. Take another big breath. If you took your arm forward, reach it straight up. Begin to slide that left leg, the right foot in and straighten your left leg. Grab your shin or place a block to the outside of the calf. Keep reaching up with your right arm, look up. Side of your body lifts nicely. Your neck can stay nice and neutral. Rip your feet into the mat and breathe. Feel your feet really press. Feel the left foot stay forward. Right hand comes to your hip. Use a block here, place on its high and setting. Move yourself forward into a half moon. Nice and easy, flex your right toes, reach your right arm up, find a lot of left from your waist. And then begin to move your eyes up the side wall, maybe up towards the ceiling, if that's in the mix for today.
Add in what you need or stay right where you are. Spark up your right toes. If you travel on to something else, find your way back to a half moon. Look down, right hand to the floor, square your hips, step your feet together. Come to the fingertips, long spine, fold over your legs, sit into a chair pose, weights in your heels. Weights deep in your heels. Press up to stand, drag your hands to prayer. We're just gonna move like two sun bees. Here we go, stretch your arms straight up, sit deep, chair, fold over your legs. Come to the fingertips, long spine, plant your palms, slide your left foot back, your right foot back to a plank. Lower halfway. Upward facing pulls you through. Downward facing presses you back. Right foot steps, back foot on its side. If you prefer a crescent lunge here, you're welcome to just take that instead. You can also modify with the knee down. And if you are taking warrior one, feel your back thigh turn forward, your waist lift, and your ribs move with you. Reach up with your arms. Take your hands back to the floor. Plank to a chaturanga. Upward facing. Downward facing, left foot steps, back foot onto its side, warrior one, just move your body, bring yourself up, maybe look up a little without the neck dropping back. Sit into your left thigh, feel the weight in your heel, bring your hands down to the floor, plank position, bend your elbows if you're taking chaturanga, upward facing, downward facing, breath in, breath out. Look where you want to go. You can step, you can float your feet to the top, however you wish to get there. Long spine, come to the fingertips, fold in half. Sit again into a chair, weights in your heels. Press into your legs to stand, draw your hands to prayer. One more, stretch your arms up, just doing a short flow today. Sit into chair pose, really deep and low. Fold over the legs. Come to the fingertips, long spine, step or float in chaturanga. Upward facing, downward facing, right foot forward, back foot on the side, warrior one, come on up. Hands come down to plank, chaturanga. Upward facing, downward facing dog, left foot steps, just moving the best that you can. Come on up, warrior one. Hands come down, plank position. Halfway to a chaturanga, upward facing, Downward facing, leave it behind. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Look where you want to go, firm up your hands, float to the top, long spine on the inhale breath, exhale fold, sit again, chair pose, weights in your heels, press up to stand, draw to prayer. If you have use of a block at home, take it going the long direction at the top of your mat over to the right. Right foot goes, whole foot on the block, stand on it, left, left leg bends in half. Bring your hands to prayer. For this right here, if you're not comfortable moving from this position, just stay in this version. Right foot here, right hip rips in, right quadricep engages, and left leg just stays at a 90 degree angle. This is great work for today. Practice standing up tall. If you'd like to travel a little further with me and try on some new stuff, keep pressing into that block or just the ground if there's no block. Hands are gonna stay in prayer and then we're gonna start to slide your left foot back into a lunge. As I do that, finding my balance, reaching my arms up. Take a breath in, take a breath out. We're gonna try it on again. I don't know how it's gonna work out, but we'll see. Drag your hands to prayer for balance. Press into the block, come on up. Breath in, breath out. Press into the block, draw the belly in. Here we go, as I move my left leg back, my arms start to reach up. Crescent lunge. If you feel like you need to adjust your stance, you simply just do that. Drag your hands to prayer. Keep the block if you're looking for more intensity. Hook the elbow into a twist. Drop the back knee if this is just too much for you folks. Lift the belly, lift the ribs. Activate your left leg more, feel the weight in your right heel. 
Twist open, look towards the side wall, maybe even open up your arms if you want a little bit more action. If not, just stay here. Another breath in. Look down, take both hands to frame your front foot. Bump your back foot in, yeah. Bring your hands to your hips, pull yourself up. Now you have your feet about three feet apart. Right hand on hip, left arm extends up. Steer your right hip back, reach your left arm forward. You take your hand to your shin. If you have a second block, you can place it to the instep, right hand on the back part of your spine. Twist open into twisting triangle. If you don't have blocks, don't worry about it. Do this whole thing without it. Steer your hips back, lift your belly, lift your waist. Press and anchor the feet into the floor. Work on stacking the two shoulders on top of one another. Look down, both hands come to the floor, slide blocks underneath them, and then fold, lifting your right hip up. your palms, step your right foot up off the block, just move it to the left, downward facing dog. Roll forward plank, lower halfway. Press yourself up, lean onto your right hand, Vashi stops in the side plank, stack the body, align yourself here. Lift the belly, lift the waist. Drop your bottom knee if you need support, come down into your form if you have a shoulder or wrist injury, listen to what your body needs. Spark up your top toes, Lift a little higher, look down, left hand to the floor, plank, bend your elbows in half, chaturanga, keep your gaze a little forward, pull yourself through a great up dog, point, downward facing dog, look to the top of the towel, step or float your feet through, long spine on the inhale, exhale, fold, sit one more time into a nice chair pose, weights in your heels, press all the way up to stand, hands to prayer. Take the block the long direction. Step your whole left foot on the block. Stand up on the block. Draw your right leg in. Flex your foot. Bring your hands to prayer. Pause here. Best version of standing up tall. Flex your right foot. Keep drawing into the block. The waist stays long. As my legs begin, to, my right leg begins to move back. My arms will begin to extend up in slow motion. Giant step back. Work it out. Lift the belly, lift the waist. Feel the weight in your left heel, drag the hands to prayer, press into the left foot. Pull yourself up nice and slow. Right leg comes in. Keep your focus, chest lifted, belly in, flex and spark up your right toes. Press the left foot more into the block. As the leg begins to move back, my arms begin to extend up. Giant step back, high lunge. Work out your alignment. If you need to place your hands down, do so. High on the ball of the back foot, hands to prayer. Inhale the breath, exhale, hook the elbow and twist. Activate your right leg, your right glute, scissor the left hip in. All that fun stuff happening right here. And then if you're using that block, really press your foot into the block. Back knee can always drop. Maybe look up if you can. If it messes with your balance, then don't. You got this. Right here, squeeze everything into the center line. Take one more big breath in. Look to the floor, place both hands down. Keep your left foot on the block if you've chosen, just keep it there. Step your right foot in. Turn it forward, so it's like a warrior one foot. Bring your hands to your hips, pull yourself up. Steer your left hip up, reach your right arm up. Come forward, twisting triangle, hand to shin, Block or hand can rest on the edge of the block. Hand on your lower back, left arm extends up. Keep pressing into that block. Lift the belly, lift the waist, peel open. Take one more. Stay with the breath. Stay with the feeling. 
look down, both hands frame the block, bend into the front leg, lift the hip, and then just fold over yourself, Parjo. Feel the back side of the body open, let the head just be free. Prop yourself up as much as you need. Plant the palms, plant your, your palms, or just touch your fingertips, slide your foot up off the block, move the block to the side, downward facing dog. Roll forward to plank, bend your elbows, chaturanga, press back up plank, lean onto your left hand, firm up that left arm, Vashi Stasana side plank. Lift the belly, spark up the toes, drive the right arm on, look up. If you're inspired, move on. Firm up that bottom arm, lift a little higher. Look down, right hand to the floor, plank position. Bend your elbows in half, chaturanga. Pull yourself through a great up dog. Take a downward facing dog. Slide your right knee forward, half pigeon. Fold forward here. Make sure that your left foot, the top of the foot, is pressing down into the mat and your left thigh bone is facing down. This is uncomfortable for you. Go onto your back and take ankle to knee. Make a figure four with your legs. Take your hands down. Stay longer if you feel like you need a little bit more time today. Curl the toes, downward facing dog. Press yourself back. Glide your left foot forward, right leg back, half pigeon. You can always pause the video, enjoy a few extra minutes in this uh, hip opener. Top of your right foot presses down. Right thigh bone points towards the ground, so your pelvis is really neutralized here. And you don't feel like you're digging anything into your knee. Just a very nice stretch of the piriformis in the hip. Stay longer if you need more. If not, you're going to bring your forearms down to the ground. Curl the right toes into the mat. This can also be done with push-up, just set up for a regular push-up. Curl the toes, wrap the elbows in, grip the belly in, hug the left knee in, don't pop up, forearm plank. This can be done just as a plank position as well. This is the plank position, forearm plank. Either option is great, weight is forward, hold. Draw the belly in. If you'd like to go upside down and you're comfortable with that, pinch up right here in this moment, bring yourself up, handstands, if you want to go to the wall, there's no one nearby that you're going to take out, this would be the time to invert, if not hang with me here, a few more breaths, forearm plank, knees can drop if it's just too much. Draw the belly in, draw the waist up, keep looking forward. If you went upside down, start to work yourself out, however it is that that looks. Come out nice and slow. If you're in a forearm plank, keep your dristy forward. Press up onto your right palm, press up onto your left palm. Good. Bend your elbows in half, chaturanga. Upward facing, point your toes. Downward facing, back we go. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Look in between your hands, float your feet all the way through. Lay down, bend your knees, bring your block with you if you know you need it. Set your feet up right here. Lift your tailbone, slide a block. Bridge pose. Wrap the thighs in. Plant the palms or clasp the hands. Feel the feet on the floor. Sit 
Stay here. If you'd like to move on today, flip your palms, bring your chin to your chest, take a big breath in, push yourself up into a full wheel. If you'd like to stay in bridge or supported bridge, and on the right leg, extend the right leg up, reach. Lower the right leg down, root the floor. If you went up into full wheel, come out nice and slow. Left leg comes up. Left leg lifts really high. Lift it up a little higher. If you went up into full wheel, come on out. Lower the left leg down, feet to the floor. Take a big breath in. Exhale the breath, come on out nice and slow. Lower the tailbone, give your knees a little squeeze. Extend the left leg forward. Take the right foot into a half happy baby. Keep the left arm down. Pull the right knee down around your rib cage. Flex the foot. If you'd like, you can bend this left leg. Take the inner thigh and press the thigh bone. So now the left leg's kind of like in a half supdivada and the right leg is up in a half happy baby. Take the right foot down, meet it in that supta, half, that supta bada, or extend the right leg out. Right hand to the inner part of your thigh, grab the outside of your left foot. Half happy baby. If you can't get hold of the base of your foot, grab behind the thigh bone, this is fine. Pull the knee around the ribs. Use the right hand to press the inner thigh open. Keep the shoulders down, the neck long, draw the belly in, look up. Keep the left leg like this, let the right leg join. Full the happy baby. Hug the knees to the chest, draw in, eyeballs towards the knees, arms reach forward. Draw in, really hug everything in tight. Extend everything out so it hovers. The hover can look like this or it could be up like this. Either way works for five. Feel the belly draw in for four, breathe. Look towards the ceiling for three, four, two, and one. Drop down, set yourself up, Shavasana. Complete rest. For the sake of this video, I will sit myself up. So that was a fiery abdominal flow for you. Little flow, little action. Hope you're feeling good at home. Catch me next time. See you soon. Thanks.